Hello everyone, welcome back to Car Fix. And today, we're going to be trying to fix my Dyson D50 vacuum cleaner slash Hoover, wherever you are from in the world. I'll just turn it on, it sounds like it's only sucking from the pole. Even when you put it into the damp, it should suck through the floor part. So, have a listen. See there with that sound, it sounds funny. Like it's only sucking through the hose, not through the actual floor part. With two dogs of my own, and looking after my sister's dogs at the minute, I definitely need a working hoover. So let's get to taking it apart. So first things first, we'll take the uh, dust catcher off. Just as you would if you were going to chuck it in the dirt in the bin. Then we'll remove this rear hose with this little clip down here. This plastic clip clicks out. There you go, that's out. And there is nothing in it blocking anything. You can see straight through it there. Now, I'll take this rollerball, or unscrew this rollerball part of the bottom to have a look in there, suction areas and tubing within here. Just do that by basically unscrewing this screw. Should just come off. Filter underneath it, you can remove just by clicking it off. And we'll have a look at this rear tubing to see if this is what's causing the issue. You should just be able to slide it out to see if it's blocked to the main front sucking section. It doesn't look like it actually is, to be honest. So we'll look up into the main area, click it forward. You can see where the pipes join there. That seal there on these can come loose and it stops the seal between the two and you don't get proper suction. That's happened to me before. The actual rubber is fine. I just super glued it back on. It breaks a nice seal again, as you can see. If that comes out, there's no seal between and it won't suck. If you actually turn it on now, with no top and you can feel the suction in these. I haven't got it plugged in. Definitely stuck this. It's definitely sucking, and it's sucking hard. No rude comments, please. Should we have to unclip this bottom section? Red clip here, somehow it comes off. Oh, I'm gonna lob it into the camera. But it is clear straight through there as well. Good bit of junk in there. Which I will clear out, but it shouldn't. I mean, it's dirty, but.
that together to see if um, it does actually make any difference to just taking it apart for a general look at what's going on. This can be tricky to pack on. You can't actually see the hole. I'm just going to do it by pure luck. Twist it on. Put the bottom end back on. Just clip on. Like so. And put the rear pipe back in. Clicks in again, plastic clip. <coughs> so, a terrible cough, you have to excuse that. I mean, it could be sealed on the bottom of this if I lay to your chair out. And here it's making the same noise. I'll look at the filter. It seems to be fine. I'm just removing this from the bottom just to check the seals and whatnot and this filter cartridge and stuff to make sure it's not completely clogged. There's a lot of garbage there. Have you seen that taking this out? But where this dog hair is in there, this hole was completely and utterly rammed full of hair and dirt and rubbish. So I've done my best to get it out. Try and give it a good clean. <laughs> give it a good clean and put it back together. So now I've well and truly cleaned inside there and all this filter still looks dusty but that the whole way round was rammed with dog hair and dust so I'm going to put it back together and see if we can make it work Right, so that's all back together. Possibly didn't need to really dismantle it that much at all. Let's see if it'll uh, suck up this dust I've made on the table to see if the fixes work. Maybe too, it instantly sounds normal again. There you have it, <clears throat> it's clean. So that's how you dismantle a uh, Dyson DC50 and clean that internal filter. That part within there, which I didn't even know you could clean, but the filter was just there. So top tip for the future, anyone with any Dyson, but especially these DC rollerball jobs, like say that rear seal down there that's from the flip to the stand up and that piping filter in there you need to make sure you clean them and make sure it's tight if you like the video like favorite and subscribe to carl fix 
stick me a thumbs up and a comment with any questions and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.